the gas lamp parking experiment. Did it work? At four. For ABC's Fantastic February, we're at W.T. Haynes Elementary School in Texas, where Jason Thompson is switching places with first grade teacher Jamie Wolf. Let's see if he can handle 21 six-year-olds. Are you ready? Hi, how are you? Well, my name is Jason. You guys can just call me whatever you want. Is it froglet? Froglet? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fantastic February is sponsored by Quilted Northern. It's all in the pattern, the pattern of caring. Quilted Northern. Calm down. Calm down. We are not going to charge in there like a couple of action heroes out of some cheesy flick. Would you look at Elizabeth? Stop. Something is wrong with my baby. Stop it. Dad, we don't have Stop time. It. Stop it. Stop it. Breathe. <sighs> Calm down. Calm down. It's time for our lovely contestant to choose. Dr. Allen's having a coronary and... Miss Elizabeth appears to be in premature labor. Who are you going to save? Don't do this. Oh. No help from the studio audience, please. I'd, I'd like to examine them so I can just... Sorry, talk. you've run out of time. What is your answer? Let her examine them. Isn't it more entertaining to build the suspense? You realize you'd be killing any chance you have of getting away. Maybe. Maybe not. You don't see what's happening in that lobby? Mr. One's big plan is falling apart. Now the vault's not gonna open for hours. Your boss is already starting to unravel. Even if he gets the briefcase, he's gonna be so fried. He's not going to be able to pull off his so-called exit strategy. What do you care? You'll be dead. smart about this. These guys are pros. They don't care anything about the hostages. They'll shoot them all if they think they're under attack. Elizabeth is waiting for me and I should be in there with her. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? She wouldn't be in this mess if I hadn't messed up. Okay, you screwed up. Let it go. Come on. We're gonna pull her out of there, but you've got to pull yourself together. Elizabeth first. could lose our baby, Dad. I know that may be low on your priority list. Stop it! You're talking nonsense! That baby's important to me, too. And we're gonna get the baby. We're gonna get Elizabeth and Nicholas and Lulu out. The situation remains extremely tense. Police sources confirm that there has been contact with one of the gunmen inside the hotel. But... God, those fool reporters just keep blabbering the same thing over and over. Why don't they tell us something Edward, new? Edward, Edward, calm down. You've already had your heart checked once to Look. What do you expect me to do? I can't be calm because Alan and Emily are hostages. And there is nothing we can do about it. Oh, stop being so infuriatingly rational. Don't you want to do something? I am worried sick about Alan and Emily. Listen, if they harm one hair on that little girl's Nicholas hair. is with Emily. I'm sure he'll do everything he can to protect her. And you know, to make matters worse, Luke is probably down at that hotel right now engaged in more half baked Edward, heroics. please what? shut up. My pulse is spiking listening to you. You know, I don't think you need to worry, because Mr. Luke knows what he's doing. Yeah, since when? Well, look, if I was being held hostage and my life could be ripped away from me at any second, I'd want Mr. Luke to be the one to rescue oh, me. Oh, please, that's an image I do not wish to contemplate. Spare us, Alice. Have you heard anything? Yes. Apparently, the gunmen have agreed to release one hostage. 
Alan, you need to concentrate on your breathing, slow and steady. Carly, fast. Carly, I'm not the one who's in labor. That would be Elizabeth. Hey, how are you feeling, Dad? I'm managing. Hi, hey, hey. hey. uh, You need to go check on Elizabeth. No, no, you don't give orders this time. You're the patient, not the doctor. Listen, Elizabeth can't give birth here. Yeah, and you should have received thrombolytic meds within 30 minutes of the onset. Well, you gave me aspirin. It's only a stopgap, Dad. You have got to let me take care of you. <laughs> that baby is going to be too premature to survive outside of hospital. You remember what you told me when Robin was shot? <laughs> to think objectively, as if this were a triage situation, to consider who needs treatment first. You made you actually listen to me? <laughs> You've shown me my example. You're a wonderful father. Not only on a clinical level, but for the care and concern you show your patients. I only hope that I can live up to your example. You got me beat by a mile, Em. <laughs> I want you to stick around so that I can keep following in your footsteps. They've agreed to release one hostage. This is our best chance to storm the lobby and get those but people may I out. I suggest that we wait until morning before mounting an assault. No, you've waited far too long already. When those doors open, that's what team goes in. One of the hostages is a pregnant woman. The other happens to be Commissioner Scorpio's niece, who's barely hanging on after being operated on with a paring knife. What do you think Robin Scorpio's chances are if you mount a, a direct assault on the lobby? We have to accept the fact that there may be casualties here. You calling Robin's death acceptable? Patch! You don't care about saving hostages! That's absurd! The reporters have no breaking news. We're at a stalemate, and you don't like Patrick, that, do you? this isn't helping anybody! If it stops this moron from storming that lobby and killing Robin, it's doing something. Look, our right. Lansing Wait. is right. Those gunmen are gonna kill those hostages the second that vault is Robin, open. We have to hostages. get those people out now! I'm counting on you to save them. And you're not gonna do anything, are you? No. You fool. This may be our only legitimate chance to save those people. This man just assaulted a public official. I want him arrested right Patrick now! established contact with, with the ringleader. I might need him. He stays. Commissioner Scorpio, would you please place Dr. Drake under arrest? If Drake hadn't have punched you, I would have myself. Interesting. The gun went off and you're still alive. Do you know why? You're alive because you're potentially useful. You have money, power and contacts in town which I may use at my disposal, so I won't kill you, yet. Now, secure Michael Corinthos Jr. to the chair. I'm gonna check on his lovely wife. Let's hope for her sake that she'll be cooperative. Goodbye. Floyd is at the scene. So far, he has refused to comment. However, given the mayor's tough stance on crime, there is oh, speculation. God. Lives are on the line, and the foolish reporters are blabbering about that fool Floyd. What's he even doing there in the first place? He is turning it into a photo op, Daddy, and I can't watch Why anymore. wouldn't they report it if they're going to release a hostage? Probably somebody who needs medical attention. So, so what were Alan and Lulu doing in the lobby in the first place? It's my fault. Huh? Why would you say that? Because I... I stole Alan's PDA. You did what? Yeah, it was a stupid move, okay? I know, I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. What is this all about? Um... Lulu and I wanted to find proof that Alan killed Rick Weber. I told you Alan I, didn't do I it. I know that, Monica, but... It was looking more and more like Rick Weber was blackmailing somebody before he died, and we just wanted to take a look at Alan's bank records to see if he might have, you know, paid him off. So we stole the PDA, and Lulu was going to use it to access his bank account, and then both of them got, got taken hostage, and... I don't, I don't know. If they get hurt or worse, it's on me now. Here, take this pulse every five minutes while I go check on this bit. Okay, okay, I got it. Keep your breathing as even as you can, Dad. Yes, Doctor. I'll be right back. 
Listen, I'm saying this to you as your father. Let Elizabeth go. I love you, Dad. I wish I could take some credit for how she turned out. Well, you obviously did something right. <laughs> this from you of all people. Well, life is full of surprises here. Just lie still, let me take your pulse. You don't have to humor me, because I had a heart attack. I'm just saying that when my kids are grown, if they say things to me like Emily just said to you, it'll make my life worthwhile for that alone. How far apart are the contractions? Oh, I'm not sure. I think they're about eight minutes apart. Yeah. With yeah. them worried about fetal distress and without a fetal heart monitor, it's... Emily, stop, okay? Pains are getting less intense. And I'm sure it's just from stress and dehydration. You don't have to do this. Okay? Do what? Make it easier for me to choose my dad. It's too soon for this baby to be born. You're a nurse. You know that as well as I do. Still vacillating? Indecisiveness is such an annoying character flaw. It took her a while to examine them both. Correction, it took her too long. The harder she struggles with this, the more entertaining for a you. The suspense right? is only pleasurable up to a certain point. Wrap it up, please. Whatever you're thinking, stop. You're only going to make things worse. Maybe not. Everyone has a weakness, Alan. And I just found out our fearless leaders. They're probably patrolling these adjacent corridors, but it's probably one guard in each corridor, so that means what we do is we go down, we pick out a couple of them, we pick them off, we take their guns, their ski masks, their clothes, and we'll go in, we'll infiltrate. Okay, you expect that to work? You got an alternate suggestion? Well, I Tell me back before. I don't know. Anything might be too risky. I... What is the alternative here? Think about it. Outside, Mayor Floyd and the DA are coming to the end of their rope. Eventually, they're going to make a grandstand play and storm the place. And then it's all up for grabs. We have to get our people out first. And what about the other hostages? The other hostages are on their own. The Dad. Look, I know what you're going to say. Can we just table the debate about situational ethics until after the rescue? OK, let's go. Dr. Drake saved Robin's life by establishing a dialogue with the ringleader. We may need him to do that again. You and Lansing are supposedly trained in dealing with hostage situations. You're going to have to handle this without Dr. Drake's input. I want him out of here. Mayor Floyd, if you're so interested in saving the hostages as well as your career, I respectfully choose to ignore that order. Good. You're the one who's going to burn for this, Lansing. I think the ring is going to talk to me again, Mike. Truthfully, no. But you want to be here? That's reason enough for you to stay. Dr. Drake? We've got a DUI coming in with severe head trauma. Mike, I'm, I'm not leaving, Robin. When that safe opens, your boss is going to grab whatever's inside and leave the rest of you twisting in the wind. Shut up! Why should he pay you when he doesn't need you? He's the only one who can contact the buyer, remember? In a, in a job this big, the payoff must be incredible. You really think number one is going to share his profits? Game's up, punk! <laughs> You're not Godfather. I'm here to rescue you. I can't believe you saved my life. I'll never call you Cupcake again. Apology accepted, Godfather. Follow me. We gotta save the others. Spinelli, my hero. Hey, one wants him back in the lobby. Get him out of here. What's oh, hold on? Okay. Don't just sneak up on me like 
like to put the gun down, okay? We got some work to do. I want cover to those upper windows. If we see any movement, you know, this all could have been a mind game. They may not be intending to release any hostages. You said they agreed. As a show of good faith. I know you're hoping they'll release Robin, but the ringleader specifically mentioned Elizabeth Weber. Yes, Senator Elizabeth and the baby are in distress and they may need emergency care. Yeah. Looking for Dr. Patrick Drake. Yeah, that's me. Dr. Russell Ford, senior staff, General Hospital. You were notified about a head trauma case that requires your expertise. Yes, I called Nurse Johnson. I told Refusing that. to respond to a page is unacceptable. We're waiting for a hostage to come out of that building. We have reason to believe that they're going to need medical care. There are paramedics on hand. You required at the hospital, Dr. Drake. That's why you make the big bucks. I'm not leaving. Perhaps I haven't been clear. If you refuse, I'll bring you in front of the state review board. I will have your license revoked. It's just trying to help, Lily. By encouraging a ridiculous investigation? Who does the girl think she is, Nancy Drew? And where did she get the notion that anybody but Laura killed Rick? Because Laura told her. Laura was the one that remembered killing him! Yeah, well, uh, apparently the news is that before Laura relapsed, she told Lulu that she thought she was innocent, and Lulu <sighs> promised to prove it. She probably had no idea what well, she was saying. What, what if Laura's right, huh? What if somebody else killed Rick Weber and let Laura think that she did? Well, that would be a terrible tragedy. But at this late date, it's completely useless to Laura because she has an incurable condition. You hope. You know, it doesn't matter. Lulu needs to do this anyway. It gives her something positive to focus on, at least. But why not try stamp collecting? Or better yet, attend that overpriced what? school that we're funding her <laughs> the, tuition for. The girl has been looking at her life, wondering what matters and what doesn't, and who she is and where she's oh, going. Oh, no, you... no, no. You are projecting your own indecisiveness no. onto Lulu. No, yes, you no, are. no. Figuring out who killed Rick Weber gives her something to hold on to. She gets to help her mother, and I understand that. I want Lulu to feel like she's accomplishing something. If you want to make the girl happy, send her on a cruise. But don't make more trouble for poor Alan or whoever else did the deed. Grandfather, somebody murdered this man and let an innocent woman take the blame for it. And ultimately, that woman lost her sanity. Now, Laura did not deserve what happened, but Rick Weber did. His original affair with Monica caused turmoil in this town for years. When he came back, he took up with her again. What's my excuse? I love Rick, but I married Alan anyway, and for years I thought I had just settled. And maybe that's the cruelest irony. Because as it turns out, it was Alan I belonged with all along. No, no, no. Keep Mr. and Mrs. Corinthos apart. They're wonderfully entertaining individuals. But put them together and they're tediously devoted spouses. If you keep them apart, perhaps they won't create any discord to other members of our party. Sit. Of course, I'd rather be in the hospital, but I'm not in critical condition. Your father is. What if you're really in labor? I'm not, okay? I refuse to be. And if for some reason this baby decides to come early, it's going to take hours, okay? And, I, and I'm going to be fine. We'll all be out of here by then. Very, very noble. Bravo. You know as well as I that your friend's lying. She's only trying to make it easier for you to ignore her crisis. Well, I don't listen to if you choose Elizabeth, your poor father won't survive. If you choose him, an innocent baby will be born or die right here in this lobby. This is a watershed uh, moment. Pay attention, girl. Some fearless leader Store. you are. Every Pulling day. women around. Will you take some shut shot? up? You are such a bad example to your fellow hostages. One. Emily has to choose between her dying father and the mother-to-be. If you kill her boyfriend, she'll be too hysterical to decide. That's true. Let's find another target. Ah! Max! Max! Hey, sit down! Who matters most, Mrs. Corinthos? Max or Sonny? Because if you don't sit down and shut up, I'll put a bullet in Sonny's head right now. Very prudent. Do you have anything else to add? You know, feel free to answer now that your tempo is under control. I always find your comments very amusing. 
Max needs medical attention. Yes, I can see that. But you see, our medical personnel is running a little thin. Dr. Allen's in a condition. Nurse Elizabeth is about to give birth. There's intern Emily, of course, but she's a little preoccupied at the moment. So who's it going to be? I think it's going to be the priest. Perhaps you can give him a little spiritual comfort as Paul Max bleeds to death. Oh, on second thought, <laughs> Max can't possibly bleed to death from a shoulder wound. Let's see if my aim is a little more accurate. You're starting to lose it. Mr. Craig. I thought Emily was the one that was supposed to choose. Wasn't that going to be the big event? She chooses between her father and her friend? Do you enjoy gambling, Michael Corinthos Jr.? Because I can assure you, you're pushing your luck. But you do make a valid point. Emily has had more than enough time to think about it. So think about it, Emily. Yeah. I've made my choice. You have to choose Elizabeth. You can't let her baby die. Nine. Today is a very special day because a actor is coming on to our school. Okay, guys. We're going to go to the library and then we're going to make our circle map, okay? Go to the library. You know, I'm excited to hear you read a story. I'm not reading. Who's reading a story? Anybody know this song? Who wants to sing it? Deep in the dawn in the dark. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No offense, but it, it honestly seems like all you and Alan ever do is fight. I mean, you say something, and he says the exact opposite. You fight about work, you fight about family. You can't even decide whose stupid house this is. <laughs> you've, you've had affairs, you divorced. And remarried. The second worst mistake my brother made. It just, it just seems so, so... Dysfunctional. Oh, pot, meat, kettle. Hmm. You know, I always assume that you guys... We're married out of convenience, not, not love. <laughs> well, Dylan, why don't you talk to me after you have been married for decades and weather the ups and downs that Alan and I have, okay? You know, I don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, if I really thought that you and Alan were a blueprint for marriage, I would join a monastery. Don't rush to judgment, my boy. Well, thank you, Edward. Now, this family is not noted for sappy platitudes or or greeting card emotions, and we fight like cats and dogs. But we love each other deeply. And if we are fortunate enough to find, to find a lifetime partner, then... Alan we... changed my life. He brought me into this family, which I have never been able to get rid of. And I knew that you and Alan were right for each other the minute he introduced you. Funny, I always thought he married beneath him. Oh, please. This from the current Mrs. Luke Spencer. Alan and I have had our share of mistakes. The biggest regret that I have is the fact that the children suffered for it. But we always managed to come around and find each other. And we never fooled ourselves into thinking that we would ever, ever have a once-in-a-lifetime love that you and Lila had. Now that I think about it, maybe in our own way we do have that. <laughs> maybe we do. Where are you going? I'm going to go to the hotel and I'm going to tell Alan that as soon as he gets out. Have me banned from the hospital, but I'm not leaving. The woman I love is inside that building, and since you've joined the hospital, you should also know she is one of our most gifted doctors. Yes, yes, I've heard of Dr. Scorpio. Yes, well, that's not surprising. You've done your homework. You're exactly what the board loves. Always prepared, play by the rules. You've read every word of every employee file. So you also know that Robin is a brilliant doctor. She's also got HIV. Well, she's been shot and she's got a badly patched arterial bleed. And when she gets out of that building, she's going to need me. So it doesn't matter what you say, I'm not leaving anywhere. I think Dr. Scorpio would have a problem. You've never met Robin. No, but you're accurate. I have read a file. 
And from her record, I know that she would be the consummate professional no matter the circumstances. When Robin gets out of there, she's going to need me. There are ambulances on hand. She'll be taken to the hospital as soon as she is evacuated. Meanwhile, you are standing here useless. You could be saving the life of one Charles Biff Danza, whose brain has been... So did you see Biff Danza? Yes. Biff Danza is my building super, and he is a bigoted jerk. And not worth your time in OR. I don't care if it's a Dalai Lama. I'm not leaving Robin. Your choice. But I don't think it would be Dr. Scorpio's. Let's see what we're up against. Hey, no, we need to figure out our next step. The next step is simple. We get a couple of gunmen isolated from the rest and we take them out. And we can lock them up after we knock them unconscious. If they're a problem, we kill them. Dad. I know it goes against your training. It's not what they do in the PCPD training book. But people's lives are at stake and if we make a false move, they could start killing people left and right. So if that bothers you, if you can't handle that, let's just split up. You do what you can, and I'll do what I can. No. We stay together. We do what we have to do. Good. Dude, I totally froze when the bad dude took a shot at Mr. Corinthos, sir. I... Dude, I hid under the table. I, 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 I left my gun out in plain no, sight, no, some it's, hero. It's okay. It's okay. I can only see part of the lobby through the duct, all right? I need to go over the layout again. So get it out. Let's go. I need to know every possible way to get those hostages yeah. out. No, dude, I'm on it. I'm on it. Freeze! <clears throat> wow. That was fast and effective and probably really painful for that dude. Okay. <gasps> um, what, 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 do we, what do we do now? Elizabeth's baby can't live if it's born here. Lulu, don't you No, it is true. You need help now. And I am really, really sorry about Alan, but he has lived a full life. And Elizabeth's baby hasn't had a chance to be you're born not, you're yet. You're not helping. It's not just about a baby. It's Elizabeth's life she'd be saving, too. You've made your argument. You don't have to make it again. Lulu's right. All right, everybody. Well done, Lulu. A little histrionic, but not to mention petulant and self-centered. Your poor niece and nephew, Lulu, should have Lulu, should have this, etc., etc. You certainly did your part to heighten the drama. Sit her down. And now, for the moment we've been waiting for. Who's it going to be? Your best friend? Mm -hmm. Your father? Dr. Marucci's on his way in. We're prepping OR3, but he's not very optimistic about the patient's chances now. I'm operating on Mr. Danza. Watch your assist. I'll inform Dr. Marucci they won't be needed. You're right about one thing. This is what Robin would want. Do your best. I always do. Police will not confirm that a hostage will be released. However, the level of activity indicates that... Hey, give me that back. They're about to release the hostage. I will not. Look at you. You are going to take a break whether you want it or not. They're speculating that the hostage may need medical treatment. Now, Robin would be the logical choice, but she hasn't even been mentioned. Maybe it was one of the other hostages. Certainly wouldn't be Alan or Emily, of course. Lulu. Well, she's a hot-tempered girl, but she has her father's street sense. With any luck, though, it could be Sonny Corinthos. Maybe he was trying to buy his freedom and one of the gunmen shot him in the attempt. Would serve him right after all the trouble he's made for this family. Daddy, <clears throat> we always survive, right? Right. Nobody holds the Quartermains down for very long. Because we understand loyalty. In certain situations. So, if I knew that, um, hypothetically, Alan killed... Rick Weber. I wouldn't help somebody outside the family prove it. No. You'd just blackmail your brother. Exactly. And I'd keep it between us, and nobody else would know. You see, blackmails and double crosses, they're a part of the family tradition. But we keep it within the family. 
the Quartermains must present a united front to the outside world. There's something going on at the barricade. Yeah, the SWAT team's moving into position. Maybe they're getting ready to do something. An assault on the hotel? Well, I don't think the cops are that desperate yet. Maybe they've agreed to send in supplies. Maybe they agreed to release some of the hostages. Need any help, dude? No, I got it. Okay, uh, so, what now? I'm going out there. You're staying here. Right, I knew that. Um, look, if you get a chance, could you check on the blonde one? From what I could tell, she was holding her own. Okay? No, but she's good at faking it. See, I mean, she, she's really courageous on the outside. I mean, that's one of the reasons why she's so cool. But, I mean, inside, dude, she could be completely losing it. I mean, come on, who wouldn't be with a bunch of armed evil dudes right in your okay, face? We're, we're going to get her out. Right. Right. Though, of course, I mean, I mean, we already scored some major victories already. Like, I mean, s Stone Cold's in stealth mode, ready to move about the forces of darkness, right? Yeah, whatever. Stay on the system, the monitor. I'm gonna let you know what I need, okay? Yeah. Hey, uh, silence! Uh, I'm the jackal! Stay down. Oh. Oops. Back? Back. Look, is there any truth to that rumor that they're going to let a hostage go? The ringleader appeared to be considering it, but that's the last we've heard. Look, why don't you just go home and leave? No, I can't, really. I've gone stir-crazy. Yeah, well, I know the feeling. Besides, I am a doctor. Maybe you can uh, use my services. I have paramedics. Okay, let me put it this way. My husband is being held hostage along with my daughter. You're not going to get rid of me. I know the feeling. My niece and they're fighting for her life. Okay, I read you loud and clear, Stone Cold. Good luck. Time's running out. Who's it gonna be? Hmm? The supportive girlfriend or the loving father? Three, two, one. Time's up. Name the lucky winner. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. Congratulations, Dr. Quartermain. Better luck next time, Nurse Weber. Oh, that's right. There won't be a next time. Okay. On your feet. You sit down. Come on, I'll help you. No, you've done enough. Put her someplace else, will you? Come on, get up. My father can't walk on his own. He needs help. A couple of us can carry him. No, I said I was going to release one hostage, not three. At least let us help him to the door. Forget it. He walks out alone or he doesn't go. And to make sure of it, eight. Get a sniper rifle and take position on the second floor window. If anyone else than Dr. Allen tries to run away, if the police get anxious and try and storm the lobby, even if you want to do a little target practice, fire at will. Got it. And now that we've set the parameters, Hello. It's time for you to leave, Dr. Allen. Come on. I can't do it, Em. I can't. It's okay, Dad. It's gonna be okay. Release Elizabeth instead. Sorry, no exchanges. It's Dr. Quartermain or no one. He needs someone to help him walk well, to the door! That's bad. He walks out. Well, you got out what you wanted! You tortured us all! You made me choose! Now just let him go! Wow, such passion. How can I refuse that? God. Four and five. Take him to the door. You happy now? <laughs> If you heard the lady, take it slowly. There's movement in the second floor. 
floor window. Is it a hostage? Sniper. I can see the rifle. Get your men in position. He fires, take him out. Someone's coming out. Watch the sniper. Prepare to fire. Oh my god, it's Alan. Check out the sniper. Don't, and his father dies. You shot 